Hey guys, I am the Comics Kid 2099 and I am here to do a rant video. I haven't done one of these in a little while and something happened today that has inspired me to do this video. I was having a conversation with somebody about the movie The Wolverine and as you know, I did a review of that when I went and saw it. I basically came away from that movie more or less lukewarm. I didn't hate it. It was not the worst X-Men movie that we've had. It was also not the best X-Men movie we've had. And just judging it by itself, not comparing it to all of the other X-Men movies, there were a couple of things about the movie that I didn't especially like, and I talked about those in my videos. So I am not about to launch into this rant as somebody who cannot believe that someone else has complained about a movie that I like, okay? Because I want to say I am not a super defender of the Wolverine movie. I thought it was okay, but I am not somebody who's going to get upset if somebody complains about it. Someone I uh, was listening to, talking with, sort of, he said that the movie had no point. He said that the movie just didn't really have any purpose concerning the entire X-Men saga. And I had a lot of issues with this statement. I did not say them to this person because I, I just met this person. And I didn't want to, you know, offend him. I didn't want to scare him away or anything like that. And plus, I like to have material for my videos. So I can now yell at you guys because of something this guy said. First of all, I would have to say a movie's purpose, the foremost purpose is to entertain. And if the movie does that, then I would say it served its purpose. And although I didn't think the movie was absolutely solid gold, I do think the Wolverine was entertaining. I was entertained by the movie. Now, sometimes a movie will not be entertaining. I will not be going to see the movie Jobs. I will not be going to see the movie The Butler because ultimately, at the end of the day, those movies do not look entertaining to me. I know people will like those movies. I know many people are going to like The Butler. I can already tell that's going to be one of those movies. It doesn't look entertaining to me, so I'm not going to watch it because, first and foremost, I want a movie to entertain me. And I think the movie did serve that purpose. Also, I was just kind of befuddled by this statement because I can think of many movies that exist by themselves and ultimately because they're not part of a larger air quotes franchise they don't really serve a purpose i guess by this logic you could say that the green lantern movie had no point because it doesn't have a sequel and i'm assuming it is not going to have anything to do with the upcoming justice league movie that we're going to get sometime in the next 10 years so would you say that the green lantern movie doesn't have a point well, I did not like the Green Lantern movie. I actually really hated it. But I don't think I would go so far as to say that the movie didn't have a point. I would say, second to being entertaining, a movie sometimes, most of the time, is going to have themes. It's going to have some sort of message that it is trying to get across. Sometimes the message is very preachy. Sometimes it's very subtle and you don't even know that there's a message there until you hear other people starting to talk about it. For me, that was the case with The Wolverine. I came away from it thinking this was a pretty entertaining movie with some exceptions. Then I heard some people talking about thematic elements in the movie, about how what makes a man a man? Is the Wolverine a man or an animal? And there was a lot of that going on in this movie. So I definitely think this movie had some thematic resonance. So ignoring the fact that for me, the first and foremost purpose slash point of a movie is to be entertaining, I would also say that the Wolverine had a point in that it was trying to make a point. And I think it did that pretty well. But I think what this guy was saying was, well, this is not a movie that will have consequences in the X-Men universe as far as the films go. Now, I don't exactly know if I can agree with that. It does seem like this movie is trying to lead into the Days of Future Past movie that will come out next year. And, well, if it wasn't going to have any consequences, I would say we wouldn't have had the post credit scene that shows this movie leading into that movie. Also, I don't really think you can say that the Wolverine had no point until you have seen Days of Future Past, which none of us have, so we can't make that argument. Now, if the Days of Future Past movie comes out next year, and it ultimately has absolutely nothing to do with the Wolverine, and they don't reference it, and maybe they even contradict it, then sure, you could say that in the grand scheme of things, concerning the entire X-Men film saga, the Wolverine didn't really, air quotes, need to happen 
because it didn't have any impact on days of future past. And that brings me to what is six minutes into this video, the crux of my whole video. Does a story have to have a point in order to be a good story? And my answer to that is no. Just looking at the X-Men comic books, specifically comics with Wolverine, I can think of several stories that don't really have an air quotes impact on the larger universe, but they can still be good stories. For example, the story that's simply called Logan is set in the past, and also a little bit of it is set in the present day. Ultimately, the whole story is Wolverine tying up some loose ends from back during World War II. Does the story have an impact on the post-Avengers vs. X-Men comic books? No. The story didn't have any impact on any of the X-Men comic books. Does that make it a bad comic book that you should ignore or decry? No. I think the story was very entertaining, which, just like movies, that is largely the purpose. And I also think that story, once again, even though it had some things with it that I didn't really care about, it was telling a good story and it had a good message and a good point to it. So I don't think that that story is completely worthless and completely something that you should ignore just because it doesn't have an impact on the other stories. Looking at something else that I like a whole lot, Batman. The Dark Knight Returns is considered by many to be the greatest Batman story ever. Does it have an impact? Well, tonally, yes it does, because every Batman story that has come after The Dark Knight Returns tries, whether they know it or not, to be tonally similar to that story. So yes, it does have an impact. But plot-wise, no, it does not have an impact on the larger Batman universe, because every Batman comic that you are going to read, with the exception of Batman The Dark Knight Strikes Again, is going to be set sometime when Batman is a younger superhero. He's not in his mid-50s trying to reclaim Gotham City. So The Dark Knight Returns doesn't have an impact on the Batman universe, but it is seen as an important comic book financially and critically. So I'm not sure if you could, by these very, very narrow standards that this gentleman was going by, say that that book is pointless or doesn't really have an impact. Basically, I just want to come away from this video saying that sometimes a story doesn't have to have a point. Sometimes really good stories can just be side stories that don't impact the whole universe in some gigantic way. In fact, a lot of the times the stories that try to be huge and have a giant impact are the ones that fail on some level because they're trying to be huge before they're trying to be a good story. I can think of several stories that try to be gigantic and try to have some sort of impact because they think that is more important than, at the end of the day, telling an engaging story that is entertaining. And I think those qualities are much more important than being huge and trying to have some sort of gigantic impact on the franchise or whatever comes next. But this is not closed for discussion. If you guys disagree with me, tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions, although let's try to be respectful of each other. We may have different opinions, but we're all still human beings and we can still treat each other like such. So, if you like this video or dislike it, do whatever you will. Click the thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, share, subscribe, do all of those things. And I will talk to you guys in another video tomorrow. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.